there friends, Nibs again, out here in the garage today doing a little bit of goofing around <clears throat> and I got a, uh, an idea for you guys uh, that I think ought to be pretty fun. Hopefully it doesn't take too awful long, but uh, I've got a whole slew of 177 caliber, mostly new production or close to new production guns. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to uh, put them all head to head against each other uh, <clears throat> and uh, kind of do a uh, just a speed test on every one of them. I've I've went through all of the ones that I have out here, and we're going and I wrote down what they're actually rated for, what the um, manufacturer of each one says that they should be able to do. Uh, we're going to be shooting these uh, Hypermax. 5.2 grain alloy pellets so that's the lightest thing I have in the garage here right now so but uh, <clears throat> let me give you a quick rundown of uh, what I have out here to test I have uh, a lot of Crossman's <laughs> Crossman 1000 a Crossman 2100 it's an older one from about the 90s maybe uh, 80s I have a Crossman 766 which is even older than that I have the new production 760 um, I have a fairly new production Crossman 66, which is kind of a cross between the <laughs> 2100 and the 760. Um, then I have a Remington 77, Airmaster 77, which is a Remington uh, branded <clears throat> 2100. And then uh, the last Crossman I have is the M4. Um, when I when I shoot each one of these I'll tell you what they're rated for and we'll see what they're actually doing as far as uh, speed goes so I have two from Barra I have the Barra 900 and I have the Barra 1866 both of them have the same action and they're rated for the same speed but we'll do them both and give them a try um, so I have two daisies I have a daisy 880 brand new daisy 880 and I have a daisy model 35 um, and the last one I have is the Ruger NXG, which is, again, the same basically pump action as the uh, Barras and are rated for the same speed. So let me, uh, I'm going to start a new group here and no particular order. Hopefully I don't have a lot of problem. been having better luck with this, uh, just getting a little farther away from the, the chronograph and... Uh, it uh, has been doing better so let's go ahead I'm not going to do in any particular order uh, I'm just going to grab them as I go so the first one I grabbed is the Crossman 766 uh, according to the manual that I found online this vintage of Crossman 766 with an alloy pellet should be doing 730 feet per second with 10 pumps so this uh, looks like it's going to be too long of a video I might cut out some of that pumping in the middle just to kind of make things uh, move along better so 745 I'm gonna write these down so that's actually better than it's rated speed so that's <laughs> that's a good way to start out so that's the first crossman let's Let's grab a Barra. We'll throw a Barra in here. So this is the Barra 900. I actually have two of these. This is the one that I uh, actually repaired. <laughs> I guess you could say repaired. I really didn't do anything. I took it apart, cleaned it out real good, and then put it back together, and now it works okay. So um, when I first got it, it was working okay, and then it started leaking air. Uh, no matter how much you pumped it, it would. Uh, you could hear it hissing out the barrel or out the breach if you had the breach open but uh, I'm out here uh, cutting up some new cans I got a couple of a couple new flavors of soda <laughs> so a lot of fun there and uh, some new uh, additions for the so 728 so that they claim that this would be up to 800 so a little little off that mark, but uh, still not bad. That's a good 
good number there. Uh, let me make sure I turn off my red dots. I don't want to come back out in another day and have dead batteries here. Uh, what can we do next? Um, let's do let's do the Remington. I like this Remington. <laughs> this one's from probably about the mid '90s, uh, from what I remember. says in the manual I found for this one on Crossman's website for up to 755 feet per second. So let's go ahead and see what uh... so 790 that is uh, pretty impressive. So some of these numbers on these older guns they didn't say alloy pellets but they just said up to that rated amount so some of these older ones may have been tested by the factory actually with lead pellets or you know their their brand of uh, lead pellets so it's tough to say with these older ones a lot of the newer ones you know they're they're, they're using alloy pellets to test them with but uh, let's uh, let's do a daisy let's see let's do the 880 <coughs> so the 880 showed a speed of 665 and I think it actually did specify in there with alloy pellets the number I think they showed were was actually higher with BBs for this which is kind of interesting but uh, okay 10 pumps Daisy 880 741 that is quite a bit higher than I, li I like a gun that uh, under promises and over delivers <laughs> so that is pretty good <clears throat> let's try um, let's move on to a uh, let's do another let's do another crossman we got lots of crossmans to do we'll do the the old, good old 760. Well, good new 760. Based on my testing, so this Crossman 760, they said up to 700 feet per second with uh, alloy pellets. It says right on the box. Actually, I had the box out right there. And this guy was able to get pretty darn close to that. So. Oh, got an error. First error. Darn it. I think that I think that was my fault. I don't think I was I don't think I was lined up really well on the sensors. So you got to make sure you're right down the sweet spot on these sensors here. That's better. 697. So that's good. We're only 3 feet off the actual rated. So all of these guns are like in the 600s to the 700s, 800. The only one that's anything above 800 is the Crossman 1000. So I'm really curious to see what that one actually does compared to the rest of these. <clears throat> All righty, let's see what else we got. Uh, let's do let's do the M4177. So I need to get a. I need to get a pellet magazine for that to be able to load a pellet. So the M4177 is claiming uh, just a real, real low <laughs> 625 feet per second. So I think it's going to do more than that. But The ergonomics of this is tough when you get up to them higher pumps it's hard to actually pump this thing so uh, let's see here six fifty four so it's better than it's rated I, I was actually expecting it to be a lot closer to the seven sixty 
but uh, that's still not bad. 654. So another one that uh, under promises and over delivers. <clears throat> All righty, we're getting down there. Let's uh, let's do the Ruger now. So the Ruger should be pretty close to what the Barra 900 was, which was uh, supposed to be 800, claiming 800, but uh, was a little bit off that mark. So 728 was what the Barra got. Okay. <laughs> I gotta get rid of the scope. 751. So it didn't make quite make it to its 800, but it is better than the Barra. Which is interesting because they're exactly the same internally. But uh, let's see what we got left. We've got the. Uh, I'm saving the 1000 for last. So just <laughs> if you haven't noticed already. Let's do the Daisy 66. So the Daisy 66. It looks a lot like a 760, uh, but it has a little bit longer pump assembly, so you get a little bit more power. Um, this one claims seven, 680 feet per second. So I have my, uh, <laughs> working on this can here, got it about halfway cut through. 711, so another, another one exceeding its rated Rated speed, very nice. Okay, so let's see. I've got the. Uh, this is an older model. I am going to get a a new model, Crossman twenty one hundred B. That I guess they call it. Um, <clears throat> this one, this model, this this models. Uh, manual online claimed up to 725 again I think this may be a, may have been tested with a heavier pellet you can really tell you're building some pressure there though that's for sure so let's see here eight oh two so that is very good yeah so Again, the, the manual said 725. It really didn't specify what, uh, what kind of pellet it was being tested with, but uh, another, another overachiever. <laughs> All right, we got three more to do. Let's do the Barra 1866. As far as as far as cool factor, this one's got, got the game one, but uh, I really don't like this uh, pellet pellet port. But I've managed to uh, kind of get it figured out. Okay, so the Barra 1866 again is a claimed an 800 feet per second and 748. Kind of, kind of ringing true with the rest of the uh, ones that are the same action that uh, Ruger and the other Barra. So 748. All right. So we've got two more. We got the the little diminutive Daisy Model 35, and this one claims only a trifle 625. So I don't know which one to go by. So in the manual, it claims 625 with pellets. On the box, it claims up to 690 feet per second uh, with alloy pellets or with, with a pellet, it says. Really easy one to pump, that's for sure. All right. All right, 680 feet per second. So. If this, the box is the one you go by, then it's really, really close to its, uh, what it's rated for. So that's pretty good. If you, if, if you go by the manual, it's another overachiever. 
Alrighty, last one. So I have my 100th year anniversary Crossman Legacy 1000 with a nice gaudy gold red dot on there. <laughs> and uh, this one should be blowing all of these away if, if the claim is, is true here. So again, we're loading it up with a 5.2 grain RWS Hypermax. Boy, she's, she's a tough one to get them last couple pumps on, almost as bad as a Sheridan. But uh, all right, here we go. Seven eighty-seven, sure sounded uh, like she was building some pressure. But uh, should I do one more just to give it the benefit of the doubt? So this thing should be. I would, I would expect this thing to be making at least nine hundred. But they claim up to a thousand. So either there's something wrong with my gun, <laughs> or that whole. The whole claim is all wet. We'll do one more just to. Sure is pumping hard like it's making some pressure. 777. So what was the last one? 787. We'll go with that one. Alrighty. Should I, should I be concerned? Is that, is there something wrong with that one? Should I be calling Crossman? That one's still under warranty. Should I be calling Crossman and complaining or is this the way they are? I don't know, but uh, so pretty good results. It won't take too much more time here, but uh, so the, the 2100, let's see which one. So actually, yeah, the 2100 was the only one that broke into the 800s it had an 802 so out of out of all of them the 2100 is the the winner the remington 7 let's see remington 77 was the next best um, followed by the ruger nxg and then uh bara 1866 Crossman 766, oh, uh, 1,000, forgot the 1,000 in there, but but uh, there you go. Um, all of them really close to their, close to or over their rated uh, speed, except for the 1,000. So um, what do you guys think about that? Um, let's see, we're, eh, we're, we're almost 20 minutes. That's not too bad. I might cut out some of the pumping action just to make it a little bit shorter. But uh, hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.